What is the very latest on the state of audio listening? What's happening with AMFM pre and post pandemic streaming and podcasting? Hi, everybody. I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One. We have quite a bit to cover today because in the last couple of weeks, we've had three major audience studies published. First, Nielsen came out with their nationwide study, which is the roll up of every single county and market in the country. So we'll be comparing that to the prior year. Also, Edison just published their Q4 2020 share of ear study. We'll be looking at that versus the prior year. And lastly, just this past Thursday, Edison published their Infinite Dial study, which is the very latest on the state of consumer use of all manner of devices and all forms of audio. So a lot to cover this week. So we have three studies out within the last couple of weeks that uh, will give you a very good picture and understanding of what is the very latest on the state of audio, AM, FM, and podcasting. First, Nielsen's nationwide study. Uh, this study aggregates all listening from every single measured market, every county in America, and every DMA. They publish this twice a year in spring and fall, and it's used a lot by national advertisers and agencies that are buying national or network radio, but it gives us a really good understanding of all American U.S. radio listening kind of aggregated together. And so what we're going to do is we're going to compare fall 19 pre-pandemic to fall 20 to answer the question, how has radio retained its radio listener base? So fall 2020 versus fall 19, AM FM radio has retained 95% of its weekly audience reach. Among 2554s, it's 94% among folks 3564, 96% among 1834s, 92%. So a very strong story of audience retention despite the pandemic. Now, what about upper income households, households earning 75,000 plus income? Really important to households because they make those big ticket purchasers. So the Nielsen Nationwide says remarkably, AMFM has retained virtually all, all of its upscale 75,000 plus household listeners. Among 2554s, fall 19 versus fall 20, AMFM has retained 99% of its weekly reach among those upscale 75,000 plus households, 2554. Among 3564, it's retained 101%. That actually means it has more 3564 upscale uh, audience reach weekly uh, versus the prior year. So a very good story of audience retention, especially among those big ticket purchasers upscale households. Now, every quarter, Edison publishes the share of ear study, and this study examines time spent to anything you can hear, and I mean anything. Those cable music channels, podcasts, satellite radio, streaming, AM, FM, your personal music collection, basically anything you can hear, they measure it, and this study publishes quarterly. So just like we did previously, we're gonna compare Q4 2019 to Q4 2020. On the left-hand side of your page, Q4 19. On the right-hand side of your page, Q4 2020. Here we're looking at shares of ad-supported audio. Now, why ad-supported audio? Well, if you're an agency or an advertiser, you just want to look for listening where you can actually run ads. And so that's what you're looking at here. And as you can see, AMFM remains the dominant share of ad supported audio a 74 share in q4 2020 going left to right and trending you can see uh, pandora is down spotify is flat at a four share sirius xm loses a share to a three and the big growth story is podcast a significant uptick in 18 plus share of year going from an eight to a 12. So that's overall. But what about in the car? Because that in car audience, that's what advertisers love about AMFM, the ability to reach people on the path to purchase. 
So let's take a look. In car, add supported shares to the left of your screen, Q4 2019, to the right of your screen, Q4 2020. No change, absolutely no change in AMFM's ad supported share. An 88 share pre and post pandemic, not one change. So when you think about reaching people on the path to purchase in the car, AM FM radio has almost a 90 share. And if I were to show you this chart going back six years, it hasn't changed. AM FM has always driven about 90% of all ad supported listening in the car. So AM FM clearly the queen of the road when it comes to in-car listening and, and the importance of reaching people when they're making and thinking about purchases. Now, just this past Thursday, Edison released the Infinite Dial study. A lot covered in that study. We're just going to focus on a five-year trend of the American podcast audience. As a local advertiser, keep your eye on podcasting because over the next couple of years, you're going to find that this is going to be an exciting new way to reach listeners in your market. A lot of radio stations are now taking their over-the-air popular big shows and creating versions for the podcast audience. So this is something to keep an eye on. It's something to start doing some test buys and, and learning a lot about it. So here we're looking at how many Americans are familiar with podcasting? How many Americans have ever listened to a podcast? Listened in the last month? Listened in the last week? And then the habituation ratio, how many monthly listeners are becoming weekly listeners to podcasting. So the big story, this is a growth audio platform. Eight out of 10 Americans are now familiar with the concept. 57% have ever listened. Two out of five Americans have listened to podcasts in the last month, 41%. Over one out of four are listening in the typical week, and that has almost doubled over the last five years and up strongly, 17% versus the prior year. And Americans are getting more in the habit of listening to podcasts. 68% uh, of monthly listeners also listen weekly. So for every 100 monthly listeners, 68 will also be listening weekly. And then overall in America, the monthly audience is now up to 116 million people, the weekly audience up to 80 million people. Now the profile of the podcast audience is also shifting. It's growing, but it's shifting. If we go back to 2011 and compare the profile of the podcast listener then to today, we definitely see some shifts. It's getting more female, and now it's almost equally split male, female. The audience is spreading out. It's getting both younger and it's getting both older. The fastest growing audience segment for podcasting are folks over the age of 55 going from 14% of the podcast audience 10 years ago to 21%. Now, the median age is still pretty young. It's in the mid-30s, but it's definitely becoming more mass appeal. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see it's becoming more diverse. It, now, that podcast audience looks like the profile of America. So, wrapping up our key findings. Throughout all three separate studies, the major theme from Nationwide, share of ear is that AM FM has retained its audience. It's virtually unchanged. 95% of the reach from the prior year retained. 100% of the upper income reach has been retained pre post pandemic. In terms of share of ear, AM FM remains the dominant player with a 74 share of ad supported audio. Pandora is down, Spotify is flat and small satellite down, podcasting is the big growth story. And in terms of reaching consumers on the path to purchase in the car, AM FM remains the queen of the road, a massive 88 share in car, unchanged from the prior year, and by the way, unchanged from the prior six years. And then the just released infinite dial study showing podcast audiences are really surging, local advertisers should start thinking about this as an audio platform, maybe doing some testing and learning. And versus a decade ago, the audience now is becoming more mass appeal, more female, more ethnically diverse. 
So thanks so much for the opportunity to share with you the very latest from these three studies. For more, please check out our blog. Every week we're publishing a new case study on the world of audio. If you go to cumulusmedia.com, the link to the blog is at the bottom of the page. At the westwood1.com uh, blog is top right hand corner. Thanks so much for the opportunity to give you the update on the state of American audio.